everybody. It's your lovely Lotus Blossom Lizzie. And today I'm going to show you what I'm planting this month in May in my Zone 9B garden here in Central Florida. Also, you may have seen um, Bobby is starting to put her videos up as well. And she is in Zone 5B. So if you all are confused about the channel <laughs> and you haven't been around for a little bit, just know that this channel was put together so that me and my sister cousin could share our gardens. And she is up in 5B, well, sister cousins. They're both in 5B and I'm down here in 9B. So you'll see uh, some videos from them and then some videos from me. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be planting this month. So um, some of these seeds you may have seen on the seed haul, but now I'm actually planting them. And I have uh, two types of calendulas here. One is the strawberry, strawberry blonde one, and the other one is a Pacific Beauty mix. And I've actually started some of these already. They haven't bloomed yet, but I've just been putting them everywhere. So when they bloom, <laughs> they're gonna bloom, but I'm gonna be planting more of these this month. Next, in these two packets, these are seeds um, that from sunflowers that I grew last year. One is a very large multi-headed uh, sunflower and the other one is a red one that's multi-headed. So hopefully what I put in here is what's gonna grow. <laughs> so next, uh, I know some of these things might burn up in the sun, but I'm gonna try it anyway, y'all. And I know when I get finished, you're gonna say, Oh, that's a lot of seeds you got going here. <laughs> but I'm actually planting all of these. So we're gonna have uh, some parsley, some bouquet uh, dill, some mammoth dill, some thyme, lemon balm. Now I wish I had the lemon balm already planted because this makes some really good tea. It really does taste lemony. I grew this last year. So we're gonna start some new plants this year. Next, I'm gonna get the kooka melons going. A lot of people say that they have problems with germination. So uh, we're gonna see, I put in, I already planted these. So we'll see what's going to grow. I have some dahlia planted already, but I wanted to plant some more. So here we go. Also, this will be my first year attempting to do pumpkins. So this is a small pumpkin variety. So I'm kind of looking forward to this and I'm actually going to grow this in my front yard. So if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe so you can stay tuned and see what happens with my great front yard pumpkin experiment. <laughs> We're going to do some lettuce leaf basil cause y'all, I don't have enough basil in my yard. <laughs> I only have 1,253,000 different types of basils, but I wanted to try the uh, lettuce leaf basil. And then we're gonna do some katsuma, and this is supposed to be a mix between mustards and collards, and it's a heat-loving plant. Because this year, I actively uh, pursued heat-tolerant plants. So hopefully this is gonna be one. I did get this one for free, so I'm excited to try it. I'm going to be planting some fish peppers. And this one probably will be more ornamental <laughs> than anything. I am gonna taste it, but y'all, I'm not a fan of super hot peppers, but this um, is gonna grow in some different colors, even though it doesn't show on the packet itself. So I just wanted to grow it for the colors. This is a fun grow for me. Gonna do some Black Eyed Susans. Y'all, I think this is like my favorite my favorite flower and I don't have any going just yet. So we're gonna do some Black Eyed Susans. I'm also gonna put in some orange bell peppers. I have some red bell peppers out and also blonde bell peppers, but I wanted to try the orange bell peppers as well. So uh, technically it might be a little bit late putting these in, but I'm gonna try it anyway. If you don't try, you don't get. And then I'm gonna do the Kakuzi Gourd and Bobby sent me uh, these from her her seed stash, so thank you, Bobby. So we'll be putting these in. And then also some nasturtiums. Uh, Y'all, I thought I planted nasturtiums, but what came up in the cup for the nasturtiums was actually purslane. 
Then we're gonna do some dock. I grew some of this last year, but I didn't get a chance to taste it because I didn't take care of my garden, basically. And so this year I am growing this so I can uh, taste it. And also I feel like this is kind of an ornamental edible as well, like the fish peppers. It's very beautiful when it grows. So I'm growing some of these. We're also gonna do some Mitsuna. And this was also a freebie from uh, Baker's Creek or rareseeds.com. Y'all love buying seeds from them. They, they just have the best variety of seeds. And this is a green, it's called a Japanese green. So we're gonna see how this comes out. I'm kind of excited about that. To have greens in the summertime here in Florida, I'm excited. This is also a heat uh, tolerant plant as well. And then we have the Taiwan yard long beans and Bobby sent me some of these beans from her stash as well. And I'm excited to try these. I've already started some asparagus beans and I like them a lot. So we're gonna see how uh, these grow. We're gonna do some orange hat tomatoes. And this also came from Bobby's stash as well. So I got these already planted up and we'll see what comes out. So this is like a, a small variety. And I figure I can uh, give one of these to my granddaughter and she can have fun. I'm, I'm gonna let her pretend like she's planting it. <laughs> then I'm gonna give her one that's already planted and growing. So, cause you know, she's only five years old. So kids, uh, they can't wait that long for things to grow. <laughs> So I know that's a lot of seeds, y'all, but I'm telling you, I already planted more than half of these uh, for this month, because I'm a little bit late. I'm a little bit late putting this video out, but I'm actually going to grow all these, okay? Thumbnail. <laughs> so I would love to know, what are you planting for the month of May? Uh, you might not have enough room in the comments, but you could try it anyway. <laughs> All right, make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up as well because it really helps the channel. I want to thank everybody who has subscribed and everybody who's given me all this great, these great tips. Um, they're phenomenal. <laughs> phenomenal. Phenomenal. I don't know. I can't say it. <laughs> all right, everybody. I'll see you later in my garden tools. Bye.